Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Frenchy Fragrance. Today I'm going to review Notti di Colonia number no. 3 from Aqua di Parma. But before we get started, just make sure to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon if you don't want to miss any other reviews. It comes in a black velour box like this one and when you open it you can find a magnificent bottle of 150 milliliter laying on a silk bed here when you pull you have a little guidebook with all the history behind each scent and there is five of it if you are thinking of buying one elegant perfume that can add a luxurious touch to your personality this is what you need so Notte de Colonia 3 was launched in 2016. The top notes are mandarin, orange and ginger. The middle notes you have olibanum, vetiver and jasmine. And the base note you can find myrrh, labdanum and tonka bean. Okay, but before we can have a full sniff of the perfume, let's just take a look at the bottle. It gives you a sense of royalty, you know, the luxury when you hold it. And you just feel that there must be a magnificent exceptional scent inside this bottle this kind of perfume was made for kings i mean look at the bottle okay let's pop this bottle and let the symphony begins mm. when you give it a spray you get a blast of orange and ginger like scent therefore it is pretty spicy at the start you get richly sweet and fruity smell that lasts until the end well now it's very difficult to decide how many different notes of scent you get when you smell it. There is a sort of amalgam of smoky, spicy and orange-like fragrance that you get at the very start. While when you try to let the scent sit, you get a woody, sweet and fruity, a fresh odor that seems to catch you, you know. If you like to be more delicate with this smell, I would say that you will also feel an oriental and resinous touch in the scent. And actually you don't get many perfumes that can give you both sweet and spicy odors at the same time. But this really is giving a sort of mixture of the two scents which is making me totally fall in love with it. So if you are into fruity smell you get it here. If you love smoky odor, you also get it here. And if you like woody, of course, you also get it here. I mean, what else? The question is, uh, when would it be perfect to wear this perfume? Well, in my opinion, you can wear it any season, guys. Any season you want. Since you are getting diverse touches of scents at the same time. But if you ask me going into the minutest details, wearing it in the fall season would be awesome. Then after fall, I would say the winter season would also let this perfume match with it. So if you are thinking of wearing it in the spring season, well you can. And who can miss summer without perfume? Not me. I would specially suggest you to wear it on special event like night out, at dinner, at uh, any restaurant or in a business meeting. The smoothness and the signature scent are going to make you stand out of the crowd. Trust me. Now with this perfume you can feel in 1829, back in the days in Teatro Reggio, in Parma, with all these beautiful people and the beautiful opera. I don't know if you guys know it, but you should visit it. Since it contains 30% oil, you get a long longevity and even a wider smell range. Anyone inside the three feet distance from you would feel the rich, yes, <laughs> rich fragrance coming from you. Trust me guys, I got a lot of compliments with this fragrance, a lot. The fragrance would just slowly try to mesmerize you and the others surrounding you in the most appealing way, which is literally breathtaking. Would you want to try this perfume? Don't be shy to comment right below the flavor you get once you try the Notti di Colonia 3 fragrance. If I could uh, describe this fragrance with one word, it would be rich. As I told you, there is five different scents. 
from number one to number five I got myself number one number three of course and number four they are actually my favorite ones number one number four and number three they are my favorite ones the number four I wear it uh, during the summer only the number three the whole year and number one in the summer I almost forgot to read the book let's read it together in English triumph strength and heroic adventures are portrayed by the musical overture of the triumphal march one of the most famous acts of Aida by Giuseppe Verdi, Notti di Colonia 3, revisits the majestic eternal feel of the musical score in which the solemn trombone notes are echoed by mandarin and ginger accords, while violins and flutes participate in the celebration, virtuoso performance of Olibanon and Jasmine. The bass notes create a sacred atmosphere with the intense warm scent of mir, Ceased labdanum and tonka bean, and refined elegant and eternal olfactory creation inspired by a timeless opera piece, The Triumphal March. If you don't want to miss more amazing videos about the perfume reviews, then make sure to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon, guys. Until the next video from Geneva, Switzerland, with love. Peace! <laughs>